Hanun hor, ye vortvo, ye vokuin serpo, amen. Dear brothers and sisters, this Sunday is the third Sunday of the Great Lent, what is commonly known as the Sunday of the Prodigal Son, obviously because we read in the scriptures the parable of the Prodigal Son that Jesus spoke. And when we look at the parable, we don't see anywhere in the text Jesus saying that today I'm going to tell you the story of the Prodigal Son. As a matter of fact, he says, this is the parable of a father who had two children. We know that the younger child is the one who went after taking the money and the possessions from his father and he squandered everything that he had. And eventually when we hit the rock bottom, he returned to the father. It's easy for us to say that the prodigal son came back to the father because he was hungry. And when we came back home, he found food. We also know about the second son, the son who was always there. And he was hungry too, but he had no idea that in his father's house, there's food. I'm sure you've heard so many sermons about going back to God, repenting and God accepting us. That's not what I want to talk about today. What I want to talk about is the abundance that we find in the presence of God. And that abundance is given to us in the life of the church. Every time that we feel spiritually hungry, if we can find our way back to the church, to the life of the sacraments, to the sacrament of the Eucharist, we will find God feeding us, feeding our souls and cleansing us from our sins. But sometimes we have people who, just like the older son, have spent all their life somewhere in the church, but they have no idea what are they doing there. They have no idea of the riches that the church can give to us and can change our lives. So look at those two children, the two sons, and decide which one is the prodigal son. If you're hungry and you know to find your way back to God, you will be filled. If you've been in the church somewhere here and you haven't tasted the heavenly food, the food of the angels that Jesus provides, you're missing a lot. Come back to the church and the ever merciful Father will feed us. He will give us the robe and the ring and the sandals. We will, we will be treated like royalty. This is the best time, the season of Lent, to make that journey back home. May God bless you all now and always and forever. Amen.